Hey everyone, Emerald here, and today I am at Cattle Company, and this is my lunch. But the best part about the lunch is the bread. And so today, I'm going to be trying to remake this bread here. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, so we're back in the kitchen now, and now let's start to make the bread. So what you need for the bread is you're gonna need two cups of these cooking oats. And then you're gonna need six and one fourth cups of uh, baking flour. Fourth, name. And then you're, the most important thing is the yeast, and you're going to need uh, four and a half teaspoons of this yeast, and this yeast makes the makes the bread rise. So you're just gonna add that in, and then you're gonna add in two teaspoons of salt and then you're just going to mix this and then we're going to add in the wet ingredients all right so now i'm going to go ahead and pour in the liquids so what you're going to need is one cup of molasses just going to pour that in and you want to make sure to scrape it so that you get all of that molasses in I think that's good. All right. And then, and then you're gonna need two, uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. All right. And then what you're gonna need is one, half a cup of uh, honey, half a cup. And you're also gonna wanna kinda like scrape it out too. And then lastly, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need two and two thirds cup of water. And you wanna make sure that it's warm water because or if it's too hot, then it's gonna kill the yeast. And if it's too cold, this is not gonna activate. So you wanna have it warm water to make sure that the yeast activates and it rise and the bread rises. Okay, so now we're mixing we're mixing up our dough in the kitchen aid mixer with the dough hook. And so you're gonna mix that for approximately 20 to 30 minutes until it all comes together in a ball. After two hours, this is about what the dough should look like. I'm gonna go kind of like punch down the dough. Oh geez. So now I'm just taking out the dough and putting it on the floured countertop. And make sure you have flour so that the dough doesn't stick to your counter. And then it's just a complete sticky mess. Just gonna take it out. And there we go. So now we're just gonna go take all of the air out of the bread dough, and then we're just gonna let it rest for 30 minutes. All right, so then once you have the dough, after 30 minutes, you're gonna cut up into eight pieces and any leftovers, you can just make it into a big one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your eight pieces and just kinda, kinda fold it to make it nice and tight. Once you've done that, you're gonna take some water and then kinda like wet the top and the sides. And then you're gonna and then, then you're gonna roll it in the in the oats. And then you're gonna bring it over to your pan and you're gonna have syllab hat over it so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Get some more oats. And then you just do that eight times, and then the leftover that you have. So 
then you're just gonna let it sit for about an hour to an hour and a half to let it rise. All right, so once you, so once you have all of your bread on your pans, then you put it into the oven for about 27 minutes at 350 degrees. All right, so we finished, just finished baking the bread, and this is what it's gonna look like. Now let's go compare the bread that we got from Cattle Company to this bread. All right, so now for the comparison. All right, so this one is ours, and this one is theirs that they made at Cattle Company. All right, so ours has more oats on top, but like none on the bottom. Theirs has oats all around their bread. So now let's taste and see the difference. All right, let's break that. Let's get a tiny bit. Pretty good. I just need, it wouldn't be better fresh, but since we took it home, it's not really fresh. This one is fresh out of the other one, so let's taste it. Mm. I'd say ours is better and theirs is also good but this one's way better Okay, so this is the finished product of all of our bread. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye!